Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Half-Life Alex video. I said last time I was going to be trying out the remake of um, well, one of the Half-Life 2 maps, and the only one I've been able to find so far is uh, D1 Canals 01, which is fine with me. I absolutely adore that map in the original game, so uh, it's probably going to be a shorter video, but that's that's fine. So let's um, let's start this and see how this goes. So not sure. If it's literally just the same map portrait and they've just updated the textures, or if they've completely remade this from the ground up. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, I have Freeman hands. That makes sense, because I'm Gordon Freeman. Okay, so they've like... Huh, it looks like they've got a well, USB match, I'm pretty sure. That's what it's meant to be in Half-Life 2. And they've modified it to fit with VR. Is it still the same? Yeah, okay, still the same controls and everything. Nice. Uh, do I have any other weapons? No, I was going to say, I should probably have... Actually, I shouldn't even have the pistol yet, should I? I'm pretty sure I don't have a crowbar, but... I don't really have a crowbar in this, so I guess... We are dealing with this. Alright, let's go. That's so weird, possibly no resin. Of course, my nose starts itching the second I um, start gameplay. Uh, enemy placement going to be in the same area? This is also weird, because I only have iron sights, so I'm used to, uh... I'm used to the reflex sight at this point. Do I have gravity gloves? No, I do not. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Uh, how do I see my health, actually? I'm assuming you guys can probably see it, but... Oh yeah, I'm full health, I'm just gonna have to hope. Oh, that felt so good. I got to fight a CP in Half-Life Alex. Oh, I love it. Give me your ammo. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay, so still store it in your backpack. Um, What's that? Is that anything I can have? Or is that just part of your model? That's just part of your model. Okay. I'm wondering, are these actually the proper civil protection NPCs? Or are these just um, combine grunts just with the CP model? Uh, ah, it really sucks for you. No matter where you are, you always seem to die. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they've remade this from the ground up. That's what it feels like. I love it so far. It's, it's weird, like, I know where I'm going in this, but also... It feels new as well. It's a very odd feeling. <laughs> It's kind of like when I played Black Mesa for the first time, I suppose. Still quite used to going backwards in VR. Huh. Maybe they've uh, rebalanced... Oh god, no. Come on, don't start all this crap. I guess they've rebalanced the enemies. I know there's usually two CPs down there, and there's uh, one that comes down the stairs after you. So, alright, I'm going to have to keep that in mind. How do I, how do I check my ammo and health? I've... I don't know, maybe, maybe that's something that hasn't been implemented yet. Locomotive safety update. New doors and new fire extinguisher restraints you've heard so much about are rolling out on the red line. Yay! Goodbye tunnel rattle, so long stuck door beep. Get certified, city rail maintenance is moving on to the blue line next, so if you have not been trained in emergency procedures for opening the new doors and accessing the new extinguishers, now is the time. Amazing. Oh okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is all stuff in the base game, but I've never really bothered to read it. You know where program updates. Okay. Are we still gonna have to do it at the top of the stairs? God, don't accidentally pull the trigger. Oh wow. Huh. Buildings, I love it. I can hear civil protection. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Just after playing the list I've played 
I already want them to redo the full game. Like, I'm imagining Ravenholm, but like this. Although there's a very creepy guy just sort of stood there staring at me. What if... Oh, you actually can kill him. He doesn't actually do anything, but he does casually die. I just wanted to see if they were if they'd actually implemented that or not. <laughs> uh, I feel kind of bad for just casually murdering some guy on his balcony. Oh, is that like an upscaled version of the Half Life Two poster? Hello, both Half Life Alex assets. What the Citadel actually? Ah, yeah, they've got the Citadel completed. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. And also, this will be good for, like, Half-Life 2 um, players like me who have played the game a million times. We know it inside now. Um, it's good that this is going to make you sort of explore a bit more. So I kind of hope that they don't just stick the normal enemies in. That they also add some stuff. Like, hey, we're not meant to have met poison head crabs yet. But hey, screw it. Throw in some poison head crabs. Make me go insane. Oh, what are they going to do with the fast head crabs? If they ever get that far. I'm hoping they do. I'd have to um, check the Steam Workshop page. If I remember, I will um, link it. Hopefully I remember. But I need to link the, um, the previous place that I did on uh, uh, Levitation. Oh god. I did not mean to teleport then. I wonder what they're going to do for Combine Soldiers. Would they just use the regular... I know Half Life Alex has, I think, an unfinished Combine Soldier model in it. But, um... I just need the textures. I know some people have already done the text. Oh, oh, I can just walk through this, can I? Okay. <laughs> I probably could have just climbed that, but oh well. Oh, what about city scanners as well? Can I actually have them as destroyable enemies? Cause that'll be cool. Oh, hat. I, 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 my instinct is to just grab glove it, but I can't. <laughs> oh, damn! Those are some uh, some decent looking nails. Right now, I can't, oh, I can't pick those up. Ooh, just like... Yeah, that'll be painful. Alright, yeah, I actually have to manually pick it up. I'm kind of hoping they add the gravity gloves in. Just because I'm, I'm so used to it. Is that laziness on my part? Yes. Um, sure, I will wear this for no apparent reason. Do I have wrist pockets? I do, great. Creepy ass mannequins. Oh, they even have benches, lovely. <laughs> what? Surprise. Happy New Year. Okay, I take it this came out around New Year then. Would it be a bit strange to have that if it didn't? Ah, you can open this. Cool. Oh, no, is that something? I think... Got the door. Don't jump. Fuck off. Right. Was indeed. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my voice down a bit more than I normally do, because I've currently got um, windows and doors of the flat open, so... Oh, not all the doors. Just the, just, just the back door. Yeah, oh, shit. It seems slightly quieter. That's why. Huh, sounds like they're using the MP7s. But I can't get one. Ow. Oh, it is. It's a half of two noise, but I think um, amplified a bit. I'm sorry, they have grenades. 
Okay. I guess we're not throwing man hacks anymore. My god. Am I just missing that much? Would you please stop throwing grenades at me? It took me a while, but at least he's died. I was dead and died in the same word. Oh god. Ah. <laughs> HGV suit noise is lovely. Ah, oh, and I can't. I guess you just gotta listen for the um, the audio then. To tell you when you're low health. I'm not sure if I like or not. Worth it. But I think it's just because I got used to Half Life Alex on all. Or, um. Even classic Half-Lifes, you have a HUD. So... <laughs> but I know if finding a HUD in VR be kind of difficult. That could be shotgun shells. I don't actually have a shotgun. Hopefully I don't run out of ammo. Must be a shotgun around here somewhat. I mean, I do have a health file, but I don't know when I should use it because I don't know my health levels. Yeah, definitely would be appreciated if that could uh, be updated. It's probably a restriction because I know you don't have, to, you don't need the HUD on the gloves in the actual uh, main game. Oh, oh god! Oh, it's that creepy umbrella thing, yeah. I know I saw um, something on YouTube about... That it was like trying to make out it's this big mystery thing. Some kind of like code thing with the umbrella dude. But it's all like some bullshit um, ARG type thing. Like it had me for a little bit. And I was just like, how have I not known about this? And then I sort of thought about it and looked into it a bit more. And I was like, yes, it's just bullshit. <laughs> Is it in the bin? No. Like, this is appreciated. The extra detail that's been put into the map. Because before, you just... You come through here, you go through here, you drop down, you just... Shoot people and... Boom, you're pretty much done. Hi! <laughs> As I was saying, I was shooting people. Can I shoot them through there? No. God damn it. My nice MP5. No, MP5, MP7. But you. Yeah, you don't let me have it, do you? Would be kind of cool if they replaced the um, Pogs SMG with, with that, though. Right, something tells me I'm not going to be able to access that because that doesn't look like a shootable padlock. And it's not even a griffable gate. Cool, just wanted to check. Ah, so they put a ladder here this time. Okay. Fuck. Missed it. Internal bleeding detected. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, yeah, I've got the combat. Oh, no, I want the ammo, not the bloody barrel. Oh, absolutely glorious Half-Life beats kicking in. Is there even anyone there? No, there, you're over there now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just drop dead, please. Holy shit. CPs have upgraded their armor a bit. So I'm playing this on normal difficulty. Where did the ammo go? There. <laughs> right, I guess they couldn't think of a way to effectively do the whole Razor Train sequence, so they just had to freeze it in place there. 
son of a... What am I stuck on? Oh, a random rubbish bag. Great. Yeah, the enemy seven vanishes. That's a shame. Ah, and then it continues. Lovely. Ah, house station. I saw a dead zombie as well. So no, there is. Well, I can think of one zombie in uh, Root Canal. Oh no, 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 no! There's the intersection has zombies as well, isn't there? I think another one. Uh, the torso that's in the. Uh, there's, there's, what's it like? A, I don't know what it is. Like a water filtration area or something? Or part of the sewer system? Something like that. Interesting. So yes, we are adding in additional enemy types. Good, good. It's Half-Life 2, but it's keeping me on my toes. I like it. Okay, that's blocked off. That's fine. You had ammo. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, it's just water. I thought it was sparks from a man hack. Um. Okay, or if I do it like that. There we go. <laughs> Trying to crouch and just was not having it. Any CP's gonna come and come after me? Or is it gonna wait till I go down? I should just squish the grub a minute. See if I need any more of this. No, apparently I don't. Great. Oh. But I, I tried to graft all of it. God damn it. <laughs> That's not going to be having I get out of anytime soon. What we got? Just a helmet, okay. Oh, that's actually a fair point, Nick. There's no actual like water in um, Source Two, is there? So you can't actually have swimming sections. So if they do decide to continue to remake these, it would be interesting to see what they do with the water sections. Ooh. We seek the same end. Our purpose is mutual. Clearly, a vault's been down here. This I like. Your journey has begun. <laughs> ah, just give me stuff like this all damn day. All right. Before I get distracted by the pretty lights, is there anything over here that's actually worth getting? Anything in the car? Um, a guy who had a few too many by the look of him. Well, I can see the problem with the car, mate. Uh, uh just gonna get you out of there, buddy. Oh, actually, I don't think there's any reason to, so never mind, you can just stay in there and rot. Oh, I can't say there's a vault going up ahead, isn't there? Anything I want in there? Like, it's weird that, like, not having to hunt for resin. <laughs> I am surprised that they haven't put any city scanners in, though. And it's possible that you just simply can't. Program the city scanners like you could in Half Life 2. Oh, don't taunt me with my hound eyes. I want them back so badly. You can get hound eyes in um, Half Life Alex, I'm pretty sure. Someone ported over all the Half Life 1 NPCs. So, come on, someone. Make a campaign throughout the Half Life 1 NPCs, and I don't give a shit if the. Uh, 
models are from like 1998. <laughs> give me, give me more stuff. Ah, so instead of dropping in, you end up. Oh. All right, I guess that was yes, the end of the map, isn't it? After you do that section, you go into the, out the door and then boom. All right, then um, I was expecting the map to just abruptly end there. I thought they'd have um, the dialogue part. I, that's just a bug. But I mean, it's a promising start, honestly. Could have thrown some more enemies in there. That would have been fine. I think they had enough, more than enough health stations and things. Um, we did have a zombie, which I wasn't really expecting, which was a pleasant surprise. Definitely happy for them to mix the enemy types up a bit, since then this is a, a remake. I know this is only a demo, obviously, because it's um, only D1 Canal Zone 1. But I am really looking forward to seeing what else they can do. Assuming they are going to be doing more. I'm really, really hoping they're going to do more. Because that was a lot of fun. Like I said before, it's a sense of familiarity. But also, it's completely new. It's like when you play Black Mesa for the first time. And you've played Half-Life 1. You've got a sense of like, oh, it's this place. But also, it's a bit different as well. So you're like, oh, it's this place? <laughs> But I liked it. I know some people pro probably won't because um, they prefer it as it was, which is absolutely fine. So you can play Half-Life 2 VR for that. But um, for what this aims to do, I think they did it very, very well. The only thing I... Well, so my only complaint, really, is um, I can't see my health. Unless there is a way that I can see my health and I just didn't notice it uh, somehow. <laughs> um, but other than that, well, I guess health and ammo. You can see how much ammo you had in the gun, but not how much ammo you had in reserve. So it could definitely benefit from having the gravity gloves uh, put in as well, possibly. But, yeah. Other than that, this was absolutely great. I had a lot of fun. Very short video, probably. But what? We are... Uh, uh, it's 22 minutes at the moment. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, so I'm not sure what we're going to be doing next. Um, whether I'm going to pick up another Half-Life mod, carry on with that, or... Um, whether I'm going to do something completely new, or if I go back to Halo to carry on the challenge play on that, or what, I have no idea as of the recording of this video. Um, I'll have a think, and I guess you'll see what's going on next time. So, thank you to everyone who's been watching. I really, really appreciate it, as always. I appreciate you giving up all your time to watch my crap. <laughs> it is much appreciated. Um, if you want to join the Discord server and chat to like-minded weirdos and stuff off um, I was going to say off stream, we're on stream, we're on a video off, um, off of YouTube, then uh, link is in the video description down below. There's also a link over to the Twitch channel, and also uh, probably to Throne as well if I remember to put it in, if you want to help contribute towards um, any of the future stuff for the channel as well. So completely optional, just, just, just saying it's there. You don't have to, it's all good. Yeah. Thanks very much guys, and until next time, everybody, take care.